Hi everyone, this is Shannon. Today we're gonna have a 60 minute class. Nice beginner yoga class about taking a pause. Tiny Dharma talk today. We're about, it's almost Christmas. And this Christmas looks a little different than most Christmases we've probably been through before. There's a lot of noise. I mean, there's, you know, coronavirus vaccines. Uh, and then this Christmas on top of it, there's a lot of stress. So I'm going to encourage you today to use your yoga during this time and take a pause. Um, it's not that you don't care about what's going on when you feel the need to take a pause. It's that your nervous system needs a break. And that's important to take when you need it. So yoga actually means union. Union of the body, union of the mind, and union of the spirit. So as you go through your practice today, come into the breath, into your body, and get out of the head if you can. And I encourage you to take that with you off the mat, especially in times like this. So in spirit of the season, we're going to open today with Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. And what that means is Om Peace, Peace, Peace. Peace in the mind, peace in the body, peace in the spirit. And if you don't know this, that's fine. We're going to open with it and close with it today in the spirit of the season. So just go ahead, get into your comfortable seat. Take a deep breath here. Om Shanti 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 And now we'll go ahead and sink down to our mat. We're going to begin in Savasana today. So just come on down to the mat. If it's comfortable for you to leave your knees bent, you absolutely can. Or you can just extend the legs all the way out. I'm going to keep mine bent today. You can take your left hand, place it over your heart. Take your right hand and place it over the tummy. And close your eyes. As we begin to come down into the body, into the breath, notice your breathing, notice your heartbeat. Notice the quality of your inhalations and exhalations. See if you can extend them. And take a moment to check in with the body, just to see how it feels today without any judgment at all. And if you would like, you can set an intention for your practice today something for your mind to come back to in case it begins to wander away and maybe something positive to bring forward into the rest of your day. On your next inhale, you can go ahead and float the eyes open. Just bring the arms out to the sides in a T, and we're going to begin with some gentle windshield wipers, planting the feet on the ground, and just let the hips fall over towards the left side. Inhale through center, and let them fall over to the right. Just keep going with the rhythm of your own breath. Gently waking up the spine.
wherever you are, take one more round. And we'll meet back in the center. And now that you're back in the center, just pick up the right knee and extend the left leg. Hug the right knee in towards your chest. And now extend the right arm out. Take your left hand, bring the knee over across and gaze over the right shoulder. Nice, long, steady breaths here. And on an inhale, bring the right knee back in. Give it a hug and extend the leg. Now let's pick up the left knee. Hug it into your chest. Now take the right hand to the knee. Extend the left hand out to the side and just bring the knee across, gazing over the left arm. beginning with some gentle movements today. Wake the spine back up. This is especially good if you've done a lot of walking. On an inhale, bring the knee back in. Give it a hug. Now let's pick up the right knee and come into reclined butterfly. Just grab your feet. Bring the heels down towards the butt just as much as you can, flattening out the spine against the mat. Take at least three long breaths here. Really settling into the body today. On your next inhale, go ahead, release the feet, bring the knees in, give them a squeeze, and let's roll up to sit. Come to the center of your mat, take the left hand behind, wrap, sorry, take the left arm around the knees, right arm behind, inhale up tall, and exhale for a nice twist. Gaze over the right shoulder, unless that hurts your neck, you can just gaze right in front of you. Treating the body with a lot of love today. On an inhale, come back to center. Wrap the right arm around, reach behind with the left. Inhale up tall and exhale, gaze over the shoulder. Inhale, come back out of your twist. Now we're going to turn to the front. Just come into a nice, easy seat, whatever that looks like for you. Inhale, the arms out to the side. And exhale, bring the left hand towards the mat. Reach over with the right. You can bring the elbow down to the mat just as far as you can without rolling the right hip up. Reaching long with the hand, gazing up towards the hand. Breathe here, really extending out, not rolling forward so much. One more good breath. Inhale back through center in a T and exhale over to the right, bringing the hand down, reaching over with the left, bringing the elbow down just as far as it can to the mat without rolling the hip up. I 
I get the nervous shakes sometimes when I ride. Stretching in the morning, I'm pretty stiff. Inhale back up to center. Now let's twist over to the left side, bring the hand to the left knee, reach behind with the right. Inhale up and exhale. Gaze behind you over the left shoulder. On an inhale, come back through center in a T, and exhale, bring the hand over to the right. Inhale up tall, and exhale, gaze over the shoulder. One more big breath. And bring the arms back to the center, float them down to the sides. Inhale up, arms up overhead, clasp the hands together. Bring them back behind your head. Now slight back bend. Inhale back. And exhale, drawing the shoulders, not the shoulders, the elbows forward. Bring them down towards your knees just as much as you can. Inhale back up, slight back bend. Exhale forward. Inhale up. And exhale. Let's take one more round. Inhale. Exhale forward. Come back to center. Let the arms float back down to the sides. So now we're going to do tabletop. So just come over to your hands and knees. As always, make sure that the hands are underneath the shoulders. Make sure that the hips and the knees are in line. Do cat and cow stretch. Inhale, bring the stomach down towards the mat, gazing up. Exhale, drawing the back up into an arch for cat stretch. Inhale and exhale. Just go through this at your own pace the rhythm of your own breath. Really taking this opportunity to slow down, get into the moment, into the body. Wherever you are, take one more round. And we'll meet back to center in a neutral spine. Now we're going to go back into child's pose. Just bring butt back towards the heels. Reach long in front of the arms. And bring the forehead down towards the mat. Bring the elbows gently down or leave the arms engaged. Yogi's choice. And if you have anything that's on your mind that's just hard to get rid of, you can't stop racing, you can always just roll the head from side to side against that third eye. Just gently massaging it away. On an inhale, engage the arms up and walk them over to the left side of the mat, getting a nice stretch in the right side of the body. Breathe here. Inhale through center and exhale, walk the arms over to the right side of the back. Nice stretch in the left side of the body.
Inhale back through center. Now let's come back up into our tabletop position. Extend the right foot behind you, just the right foot. Hold it here for a stretch or for a balance. Now let's curl the foot in, come into cat's tiger. Exhale back, curl the foot up, press straight up. Extend the foot, inhale in, exhale back, curl the foot, extend up. One more time, inhale in, exhale back, curl the foot, extend up. Now extend the foot back out, bring it back down. You're going to shimmy around to the front of the mat, kickstand the right foot back out to the side, come up into gate pose, bring the arms up, gathering energy, exhale over towards the right side, reaching over with the left hand. Again, not collapsing forward here and making sure to not place the hand on the knee. Inhale back up, exhale Plant the hand down, reach over with the right arm. Nice long stretch for the entire right side of the body. Take one more breath. Exhale. Just wave the hand down to the front. Bring the foot in. And turn back to face the front of the mat. We're going to do this with the left foot. So inhale the left leg up behind you. Hold it here for a moment. Nice even breaths. Now tiger curl in. Inhale in. Exhale back. Flex the foot. Press up. Extend. Inhale. Exhale. Press. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Curl up. Press. Now extend the foot back out. Float it back down. Shimmy to the side. Kick stand the left foot to the side. Inhale up into gate pose. Flip the hands. Exhale over to the left side. Long breaths. Inhale back through center. Plant the right hand down. Reach long with the left. Two more breaths. Now just bring the hand down, bring the foot in. Come back to face the front of the mat. We're gonna come back into child's pose one more time. Reaching long in front. Just pause here for a few breaths, coming into the moment, into the intention that you set for your practice today. On an inhale, come back up through center into tabletop. And shift the knees back. Now come all the way down, arms to the sides, forehead to the mat. Draw the elbows to the sides. And then inhale up into baby cobra. If this hurts your low back, you can always spread the feet out a little longer or a little wider. Exhale, bring the forehead back down to the mat. Let's do a few more Cobras. Inhale up. Make sure you don't arch the head up too far. You don't want to strain the neck. Exhale back down. Inhale up. 
Exhale, down. Now if you've spread your feet out, bring them in a little bit. Shift back through table. And shift back into child's pose. Take a breath here. Inhale, come back up through table. Exhale, drawing elbows into the sides with control, coming back down to the mat. Take a breath here. Inhale up, baby cobra. Exhale, down. Enjoy the pause and the slowness of the season, slowing down today. Inhale, back through table. Exhale, back to child's pose. Take an inhale here and exhale. Take another round, come forward through table, exhale, come back down to baby cobra, inhale up, exhale down, inhale through center, exhale back. Inhale and exhale. Now let's inhale up through table. Exhale down. Again, all the way down to the mat. This time release the hands. Bring them behind you. Now let's interlace the fingers behind the back, rolling the shoulder blades back. Now inhale up again for Cobra. Exhale down. This time we're going to go into Locust. So inhale everything up. Inhale up the feet and the head. Take two long breaths here. Inhale. One. Inhale. Two. And exhale down. Bring the arms back to the sides, beside the shoulders. Inhale and exhale here. Let's do that again. Bring the arms behind you. Roll the shoulder blades back, clasp the hands. Inhale everything up. Two long breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Now bring everything back down. Bring the hands back to the sides. On an inhale, press back up through table and come back into. Let's take a big breath here together. Just a big inhale. Open your mouth. Exhale. Just let it go. Let go of any of the noise. Just come into the moment. On an inhale, you can lift your head a little. Take your right hand. Reach it across. Just walk it across. And get a nice stretch in the right side of the back. Let's breathe here. And then bring the hand back to center. And take the left hand, reach it across. Inhale back to center. Now we'll come up into our tabletop position. Tuck the toes behind you. Shift back into down dog. So 
taking the hips back towards the back of the mat, drawing the shoulder blades down the back. It's the first down dog of the day, so it's totally normal to be a little stiff here. Try to bring the heels down towards the mat just as close as you can. And let's start to pedal out. Let's pedal out feet. all the crunchies and crinkles out. Now let's inhale up on the toes. Take the heels, shoot them over to the left side of the mat. Bring the heels back down to the mat just as much as you can. And breathe, breathe into the stretch. Inhale back up through center and exhale. Shoot the heels over to the right side of the mat. Just bringing them down as much as you can. Long, deep, even breaths. Inhale the heels back up. Exhale. Try to bring them down to the floor. Maybe bend the knees if you need to. And let's roll forward back into the tabletop position. Let's do a little cat cow here to, to, to even back out. Inhale down, exhale up. And just roll the shoulders and hips out. Now let's pick up the right foot behind you, cross it over the left, and gaze over the left shoulder at the foot. On an inhale, pick the foot back up, bring it back center, and place it back down. Now inhale, the left foot up behind you, cross it over, plant the toes, and gaze over the right shoulder towards the foot. If you can't see the foot, that's fine. Just gaze in that direction. One more breath. And inhale, pick the foot up, bring it back to center, and place it back down. Let's do a calf stretch here. Lift the right foot behind you, tuck the toes down, using the hands, shift back for a nice stretch. One more breath. And on an inhale, shift the weight back forward, pick up the foot, place it back down. Inhale the left foot up behind, tuck the toes down, using the hands, shift back. Nice stretch for the calves. If you ever have problems with plantar fasciitis, this can help. One more breath. Inhale, shift the weight forward, float up the foot and bring it back down. Now we're going to tuck the toes again, come back into down dog, come all the way back, pedal the feet again. Maybe things feel a little looser this time. I'll bring both heels up, bring them down towards the floor. On an inhale, lift the right foot up straight behind you. Hold it here for a moment, three-legged dog. Look forward in between the hands, bring the foot in, step forward in between the hands, drop the left knee down, you can untuck the toe, and come up, you can frame the right knee, 
come up. That's a, a nice lunge when you feel pretty good here. Just reach up overhead for the arms. Make sure to bring the right knee out towards the pinky toe. You always want to protect the knee. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. One more breath. And exhale, float the arms down to the sides of the foot. Plant the left hand down, reach up with the right arm. One more breath here. And exhale, bring the hand down side the foot. Take the foot back behind you, back into table. Tuck the toes, press back up into down dog towards the back of the mat. Pedal out the feet. Spending a little time being gentle with ourselves today. Coming into how the body feels, just noticing. Inhale, bring the heels up. Exhale, bring them back down. On your next inhale, lift the left foot up behind you in three-legged dog, keeping the hips square. Look forward in between your hands, draw the knee in. Step forward in between your hands, drop the right knee down, untuck the toe. Come up, you can frame the left knee with your hands when you're feeling pretty good here. Reach up overhead. Again, make sure the knee is out towards the pinky toe. If you feel any strain on the knee at any time as you go forward, then just back off of it. One more breath. And exhale, float the arms down to frame the foot. Plant the right hand down. Reach up with the left. Gaze up towards the left hand. One more breath here. And exhale, bring the hand back down beside the foot. Take the foot back behind you. Let's take another cat cow just to reset. Inhale down. Exhale up. And we're back in center. We'll just move the hips and shoulders a little. Let's take that flow again. Tuck the toes back. Inhale. Shoot the hips back towards the back of the mat. Pedal out the feet. On an inhale, come up on the toes, bring the heels down towards the floor, much as you can. Inhale the right foot up behind you in three-legged dog. Make sure the hips are square. Look forward in between your hands. Bring the knee in, step in between your hands. Drop the left knee and untuck the toes. Come up, bring the hands to frame the right foot. Get nice and stable. And inhale, reach up with the arms. And as you reach up with the arms, make sure the shoulders aren't hunching up towards your neck. You want to draw the shoulders down. One more big breath. And exhale, float the hands down beside the foot. Tuck, bring the right hand down beside the foot. Reach up with, I'm sorry, left hand down, right arm up, and gaze up at the hand. This is too much on your neck. Just gaze in front of you. You can even look down at the left hand. Whatever you choose today, just breathe. And always choose what's right for your body. Now 
exhale, bring the right hand down beside the foot. Bring the foot back into tabletop. Tuck the toes. Shoot back into down dog. Let's pedal out the feet. Now inhale, bring up on the to the tippy toes. Exhale, come down towards the heels. Inhale, the left foot up behind you. Three-legged dog. Gaze forward in between your hands. Draw the knee in. Step forward in between your hands. Drop the right knee down. Untuck the toe. Come up into your lunge. You can frame the knee. And when you're feeling good, Reach up overhead. Don't forget your breath coming down into the body, into the breath. One more inhale and exhale. Float the hands down beside the foot. Plant the right hand down. Reach up with the left. Nice twist. One more breath. And exhale. Float the hand down beside the foot. Bring the foot behind you into your tabletop position. Let's reset with a cat and cow. Inhale, cow. Look up. Exhale, cat. Come back to a neutral spine. Let's shake it out again. Let's go from right to left. And come back into child's pose. Reach long in front. And bring your forehead down to the mat. Bring your mind back to the intention you set today. Really just take this time to absorb the peace of your practice. Peace of the season. On your next inhale, come back up into tabletop position. Tuck the toes. Shoot the hips back. Back into down dog. Stay here for just a moment. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Look forward in between your hands. Step forward to the front of the mat. And let's just hang here in a rag doll. You can grab each elbow and just hang. If you need to put a little bend in the knee here, that's fine. Maybe wave back and forth a little to release the low back. Cradling yourself here, just taking the time to be gentle with yourself. On an exhale, bring the hands down towards the feet. Take the right hand down. If you can touch, that's fine. If you can't, just bring the hand to the center between the toes. And then peel the left arm up for a nice twist. One more breath, and exhale. Bring the left hand down, either to the floor <clears throat> or in between the feet, and bring the right arm up. Nice twist. One more breath, exhale, bring the arm down. Now let's slowly roll all the way up, vertebrae by vertebrae all the way up to stand. And when you come all the way up, 
Inhale the arms up overhead, gathering positive energy. Exhale, bring them down to heart center. Let's pause here for one moment. Take a big hail, inhale in. Open your mouth, let it go. Just let it go. Exhale, bring the arms down to the side. Inhale, arms back overhead. Exhale, drawing them through heart center very slowly. Come down into forward fold. Inhale up, halfway lift. Forward fold. Step back into plank. Drop the knees down to the floor. Pause here for a moment. Untuck the toes. Do another cat-cow. Inhale, stomach down. Gazing up. Exhale, cat stretch. Back to center. Shake the hips and shoulders out. Come back into your table. Tuck the toes. Shoot the hips back towards the back of the mat. Back into down dog. Look forward in between your hands. Step forward. And come all the way down to a seat. <clears throat> now we're going to come to the center of the mat. Bring left foot in to the thigh. Hips square over the right foot. Inhale up with the arms. Exhale forward. Just come as far as you can. You're leading with the head. Bring the hands to the side of the leg, the ankle, or the feet. Whatever you can, whatever you can get. You can keep a slight bend in the knee here if you need to. Just breathe. One more breath. Come all the way up and change legs. Left leg out, right leg in. Bring the foot into the thigh, square the hips. Inhale up tall, exhale forward, hinging at the hips, leading with the crown of the head, bringing the hands down to the side of the leg, the ankle or the foot. Wherever you are is exactly where you need to be. You can always keep a micro bend in the knee. One more breath. On an inhale, gently roll all the way back up. Now you can bring the right leg out so you're in a straddle position. <clears throat> inhale the arms up tall. Bring the left hand back over to the left foot, leg, whatever. Reach over with the right arm. Make sure you don't collapse forward. You just want to really rotate out, reaching up. One more breath. Inhale back up through center. Exhale over to the right side with the hand. Reaching over with the left arm. One more breath. Inhale back up through center. <clears throat> now bring both legs in with the knees bent and just let them both fall over to the left side. <clears throat> Excuse me. Take the right knee beside the left foot. Inhale up in the center. Exhale, twist over to the left side. Take one more inhale and exhale here. 
come back to center. Pick both knees up and drop them over to the right side. Take the left knee, stack it beside the right foot. Inhale up tall and exhale, twist over towards the left. Try to keep the spine nice and straight here. On an inhale, come back to center. You can bring both knees back up. I'm gonna come to the side of the mat again. Do another nice twist. Reach behind with the left arm, reach in front with the right, wrap it around the knees. Inhale up tall, exhale, gaze over the left shoulder behind you. One more breath here. And come back through center. Reach behind with the right arm. Reach around with the left. Inhale up tall. Exhale, twist. Gaze over the shoulder behind you. Keeping the face soft. Keeping the breaths nice, long, and even. Inhale back to center. We're going to turn back face forward for just a moment. Stack one leg either on top of the other like this. You can either stack the foot over or if that is too much, just place the foot in front, whatever you choose. Knee to foot. Inhale up tall. Bring the arms forward in front of you with the hands exposed. Exhale forward, bringing the elbows down towards the mat, letting the head sink down. You can use this moment coming into the breath. Use it as a moment of offering, offering up anything that you no longer need. Just letting it go. Inhale back up, come all the way up. Let's change legs. So I started with the right leg up, so I'm going to take the left leg and put it back on top. And again, if this does not work for you, just put the foot in front. Whatever you choose, inhale up tall, bring the hands forward. Exhale, come forward, bring the elbows down towards the mat, bringing the head down. <clears throat> I apologize, my allergies are all over the place today. Use this moment as a receiving moment. Arms exposed to receive whatever you may need in your life. Another good breath here. Inhale back up. Unfold the legs, bring them back up, bring the knees back up, come back to the side. And now roll vertebrae by vertebrae all the way down to the mat. You 
Get nice and comfortable. Now let's take the right leg, prop the foot over the left knee, flex the foot, reach down. You can use a towel or a strap here if you have it, if you can't get your thigh. And just pull the thigh in towards the chest. One more breath. And exhale, bring the left foot back down to the mat. Let's change legs. Right foot down, left foot up, flex the foot, prop it over the right knee. Reach down to grab the thigh and just bring it in towards the chest just as much as you can. Remember to keep the feet flexed. You want to protect the knee at all times. One more breath and exhale. Bring the right foot back down to the mat. Unprop your legs, bring the arms back out to the sides in a T, and let's windshield and wiper the feet back and forth very gently on your inhales and exhales. Bring the knees back to center. Bring the knees in towards your chest. Reach up. Give yourself a big hug because you did awesome today. And release into Shavasana. Just let it all go. All the effort of your practice, just let it go. Let the arms and legs flop out to the side. Let your face go soft. Let your jaw go slack. Feel any tension in your body all the way from the top of your head, your face, any remaining tension in the neck, chest, shoulders. Just let it go. Let it sink into the floor beneath you. Any tension remaining in the arms, solar plexus, the stomach, the hips, let it melt away. Tension in the legs, knees, ankles, and feet. Just feel it sinking below into the ground below you, down into the earth. Feel how you are heavy against the earth. And you're so safe.
on your next inhale, begin to deepen your breathing, slowly calling yourself back home, calling awareness back to the body. Can make some small movements with the fingers and toes. Be some rotations with ankles and wrists. <clears throat> Reach out long overhead for a big stretch. And come over to one side in the fetal position. When you're ready, use your hand to press yourself back up into your comfortable seat. Bring the hands back down to your knees. If your eyes are open, maybe shut them one more time. Take a quick scan of the body. Just notice how it feels today, is how it felt at the beginning of your practice. Thank yourself for coming to the mat today, taking a little time to do something good for you, taking a moment to take a pause. And bring your hands to heart center in prayer. Today we'll close the way that we opened. Om Shanti, 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 which is Om, peace, peace, peace. Let's take a big inhale together. Om Shanti 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 And you can open your eyes. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have an amazing Christmas. If you haven't liked and subscribed to my channel, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time.